A 70 years old female presented with clinical features of acute subarachnoid hemorrhage and an has red was free. Initial CT scan of head short subarachnoid hemorrhage most likely due to ruptured echomanism along with hydrocephalus. CT angiogram of brain showed echomanism with dominant left A1. After having talk with the patient's family, we decided to manage the aneurysm microsurgically on emergency basis. Under general anesthesia in supine position, head turning towards the right side about 60 degree, keeping the gigam at its highest point, the left frontolateral supraorbital craniotomy was done. After craniotomy, dura was opened by keeping it base towards the frontal base. Using Subfrontal approach, we reached to the optic parotid area to uh, drain some CSF for making brain slack. Then, with the arachnoid dissection, we expose the supraclinoidal ICA and medial part of the cilian fissure was open. With more dissection, I see bifurcation was dissected, followed by A1 was followed up by the artery, more arachnoid dissection. A1 interim spheric fissure was open. Some part of the various rectus in the ethylateral side was removed. The brain was very friable. Now one can see the uh, both A2 on the both A2 a temporary leak was placed on the same ethylateral. Hemorrhagism was followed. But, sir? Yeah, so, happened with the population. So we decided small photon at the rupture site of the name to keep it for number keeping but it seems in your regret so new small bottom was placed again yes. and uh, the kite but once again Seems to be integrate. So we decided to reorganize the seems to be okay. But the checking whether any our quarter was jeopardized by the feet or not.
after satisfactory clipping, we check the flow with the micro plug. Then we open the lamina terminalis. After opening the lamina terminalis, we put paper bearing soaked surgical over the complex vessel and ICA. Then after hemostasis, we close the dura and go according. After operation, the patient was reversed from anesthesia and was nursed in post-operative ward. CT scan on first post-operative day show nothing abnormal as the hematoma as like that of preoperative on the corpus callosum and also some blood inside the ventricle. CT angiogram showed the great aneurysm and the patient was discharged on seven post-operative day with advice uneventfully.